Hey guys, how are you doing? It's your boy Dave Partner. How um, is your design going? So in this video, I'm just going to show you through um, a sample design of a login form that makes sense. That's uh, a login form that is built with React. So um, this login form also, you can also customize it to be a sign up form. So if you are building a, uh, a platform, a website that you needed to build a very super cool login form, uh, this uh, login form is uh, an example, a very good example. So what I would do is to um, show you through what the files are and then um, I'll show you how to customize it and of course where to download it from. And remember that if this is the first time you're watching any of my videos, welcome to my channel. And then uh, you just need to click the red subscribe button below this video where I'm moving my mouse right now. That red button will ensure that anytime I make a new video, you will always be the first to get a notification, all right? Okay, now you've clicked it. So these are just the files inside this uh, material design. And then, of course, you can customize it. I'll show you. And it, as you can see, it just has a HTML, uh, one HTML file, which is just the login. It's just a login page. And then um, it has fonts. It comes with its fonts. Uh, once you download it, the fonts come with it. And then uh, you can see the images. For instance, there's just one image here, and that is this background image. You see this background image, a Mac laptop with a notebook and a cup. So if you wanted to uh, come up with your own image, you just need to snap it and um, use it to overwrite this image in the folder. You don't need to write any code. Once you snap it, you use it to overwrite this image and you are good to go. That's the image there. All right. So if I did something like this. Um, so this is the image. Once you can override it, um, it will show up here in the background. Now, the next thing I want to show you is um, how to customize it. Remember that this, this template is free. You can just download it and add it to your project. So um, to customize it is simple. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you copy the CSS files. See, there are two CSS files. One is Font Awesome. Font Awesome is for the fonts, all these icons, you see. This is an icon and uh, this is an icon. So you need to get a font awesome for these uh, beautiful icons. So once you download, uh, once you have this uh, CSS file, you don't need to download a uh, font awesome because this is just font awesome CSS. And then secondly, you need to have the, the CSS file that came with it. Uh, you understand the original core CSS file of this application. Now let's look, take a look at the code so that you just uh, can show you one or two things. Remember to subscribe if this is the... So, um, now uh, we have opened it in our editor Visual Studio. So let us look at uh, the CSS files first of all. This is the original CSS that came with it. As you can see, it is very neatly designed. You can edit it and update it. So let's see where it's being used. If you come to index.html, first of all, you see the license. You remember I told you that it is free. It comes with a license. You look at the license. Uh, even though it's free, you can pay for it if you want. Uh, okay to remove um, this copyright now let's look at something here look at uh, the basic page as you can see that style of CSS is, is imported here so if you wanted to write your own CSS I would, uh, su I would suggest that um, you just duplicate this line and import your own CSS uh, let's call this one custom make sure that it's below the style.css so that whatever code you're writing inside the CSS file will reflect or otherwise you can just write all your codes directly inside style then if you created custom.css you have to come here and create it as a new file uh, new file uh, custom.css or whatever you call it so here we can now do h1 um, font size uh, 30 pixels depending on whatever you want but as long as inside your index.html you have this under this, it's going to handle the whole design. So let's go and see if what we did changed at all. Um, here, refresh. Um, I didn't even check what we did. So secondly, um, we're going to look for, you see there's a login that is H2 and is red in color. 
and um, I feel that this shouldn't be red it should be white so a good a good thing to do is to come to a custom dot CSS and change it so let's change h2 h2 uh, color color to white and we save and uh, we verify whether it works Control R and um, it didn't work and um, why didn't it work let's find out or maybe we should just refresh all right so um, this is it um, you see login then that's how you can change this font icons to even this button so you just need to trace and find it where it is on the page go to the page you look for the icon so we're, we're looking for if a look at of the, that icon the user icon that's it and then um, the button that's the submit button the red button all right so um this kind of gives you a very neat and cute and beautiful uh, login page that you can add to any project and quickly start using it all right so thank you very much and um, make sure that you check the description section of this video that is where you would see the the download um, links to this um, to this uh, particular template so you can download it and start using it straight up all right so thank you very much if you have any questions drop them in the comments I'll be right there to answer your questions and remember I am not the one who designed or built this template all right so see you guys don't forget to subscribe if this is the first time you are subscribed you are seeing any of my videos click the red subscribe button below see you in the next video